So welcome to the Goodwood Festival of Speed. This has to be the premier automotive event, certainly in the UK anyway. And I'm here at the BMW Motorrad stand. They've got a whole bunch of custom R18s to look at. So today I'm gonna to show you through them all and some of them, they're pretty out there. I'll save those crazy ones for the end. So a great starting point is this, the custom work Zon. You may have already seen it before because this is one of the bikes that they use to launch the R18. There was the birdcage before it, which is a really out there looking bike and then they built this one so they supplied the engine the r18 engine custom works on built the rest of the bike around it so you've got this incredible looking trellis frame the wheels are pretty out there as well sorry but i'm just filming the cameras there <laughs> so it's all right and then some incredible looking bodywork now i'm not sure i'd love to ride this one it's got a very slender rear tire with all that torque it doesn't look the most comfortable that's a pretty tiny front brake as well but it's not really built for that it's a real showpiece and showcasing the girth of this massive boxer twin there were a couple more showcase bikes built after that which were pretty great as well and then we got this the first edition of the r18 now this is a bike i've already reviewed so i'll link to that video in the description if you haven't seen it already but you know the big story is the boxer twin like i say absolutely bags of torque and built to compete with like the big heavyweight american cruisers what i really love about it is that they didn't just build like a knockoff harley or something like that yes it's built to compete with them it has the the performance specs that are similar to some of those bikes but they really leaned into their heritage by using that boxer twin it has that sideways shake when you start it up and then there are plenty of aesthetic references back to the r5 which inspired the styling of this bike i've got to say it really does look impressive in the flesh the chrome really suits it i love the black paint job with the pinstripe detailing if you haven't seen one yourself definitely get down to a dealer and check one out they really are impressive to look at and it's a huge bike as well apologies if you can hear the tires squealing in the background it is a motorsport show after all but then they followed up with this the r18 classic <laughs> this really leans into the sort of cruiser tourist style segment so you've got a screen at the front some soft luggage at the rear and you've got these long flat exhausts to accommodate them but the biggest thing for me is cruise control. I couldn't have a bike like this, I don't think, without cruise control. But this gets it a standard and it really does make it a proper, decent, stylish, long distance bike. Now we're sort of into the customs that have been commissioned for Goodwood and how cool is this? If you're an avid motorbob viewer, you'll remember that recently I went to Watsonian Sidecars, did a bit of a factory tour, and then I took a Enfield 650 Interceptor Sidecar out for a spin. Ben, the owner of Watsonian, sort of did a bit of drifting with me in the sidecar and lofted me in the air. It was a cracking day out, but I was thoroughly impressed with the level of craftsmanship that goes into each and every build. It's a proper art, definitely check that video out. There's a link to that in the description as well. But what a thing they've created here. This is the classic that we just looked at, of course, but I love the way that they've themed the sidecar around it. So you've got the black finish with the white pinstripe in, a spoke wheel to match. The black leather on the seat as well with the BMW logo in there sort of reflects the seat on the bike as well perfectly. They've even used one of the stock indicators over there. But the feature that I love the most is this cutout in the side of the sidecar there. They sort of handmade that to accommodate or sort of show off the cylinder heads a little bit and I think it just yeah it's a proper nice feature actually that's one of the spotlights off the front on the front of the sidecar as well loads to look at there a brilliant build so onto this beauty from Untitled who are based in London I've actually featured a couple of their bikes on the channel in the past they were at the bike shed show in 2019 I think they've done some incredible looking triumph builds in the past I think the Thruxton was one of my favorite it may have even used similar colors to this bike here anyway as you can see the lower half the chassis the engine is all pretty much stock apart from it's got the Manson Hines accessory blacked out exhaust, which looks absolutely awesome. A proper cool paint job on the front mud garden tank here. And then this incredible looking fairing at the front and then the seat. I mean, what can I say about this? This is what I absolutely love about custom motorcycles. You know, some people go down the more subtle, stealthy route, but there's also room for builds like this that kind of blow your mind. So this bike is called the Blackman. It was built in Austria. And I just think this is, I mean, it might be my favorite of the bunch. Again, sort of the chassis and engine are pretty much untouched. You've even got the original fishtail exhaust here. One subtle touch I do like 
like though is a brushed finish on those cylinder head covers. It ties in with the rest of the bodywork, so a really nice job there. But it's really all about the top half of this bike. They've done some work on the tank actually, so I guess cut it in half and welded it again to make it much more narrow and even put some little knee cutouts here, which look great. It flows really nicely into this narrow brown leather seat and then a beautiful tailpiece here finished off with the BMW logo. But up the front, it just looks absolutely crazy. I love what they've done with it. The way that the bodywork sort of goes over those clip-on handlebars and then the choice of headlight, it really defines the look of this bike. It's an incredible looking thing. Sorry, do you mind if I just put this camera here and just do a bit of filming with the bike? Thank you, cheers. But certainly the bike that's been getting the most interest on the stand here is this, the Spirit of Passion. In fact, I think I'll struggle to get a clear shot for the duration of me talking about it, but you can see why it's absolutely stunning. Now, it looks like they've built some custom slash cut exhaust pipes here. I bet it sounds incredible. I don't think we'll get a chance to start it up. They fitted the floorboard accessory, and then I love how they've used a couple of shifters here to create a hill shifter. You know, it almost reminds me a bit of the sidecar from Watsonian. I'd love to see this bike attached to that sidecar. Oh, that would look incredible, but yeah, you've got this huge fairing at the front. Obviously some inspiration from the cars in BMW's history with that long grill at the front. This little windscreen's a nice touch as well. A custom seat and then it flows into this rear wheel cover with the little fin on the back. Another sort of mind-blowing build. I'm just gonna head down to the paddocks though now and try and get some footage of the Pier City Cycles Custom R18 that has been going up the hill today. And I believe that one we can start up. And again, it sounds proper filthy. So here we are down in the paddocks next to the helipad, so excuse the noise. We've got some incredible bikes down here. We've got the Pan America, some Triumphs, a new CCM. But for me, this is the pick of the bunch. What a beautiful looking thing. This is by Pier City Cycles. They've been on the channel as well. I featured a couple of their bikes at the Bike Shed Show also. They do some amazing R9T builds and I think you can buy custom parts from them as well. But yeah, they've knocked this together for good wood. And it's really like a more modern take. A lot of the bikes I've shown you so far lean into that heritage vibe but this is a proper you know 2021 take on a cruiser. It feels like they've stripped it down so much that it makes even more of a feature of that huge engine. It looks a little bit like, in proportions anyway, the beautiful R18 concept that they showed at the Concorso d'Eleganza, which I think got a lot of people excited for this bike. But the finish and the choice of parts here has made it look a lot more modern. So pretty much everything is blacked out on this bike. You've got the cylinder head covers. I think these might be the Roland Sands parts. Sorry, mate, I just got a filming there. It's all right, no worries. Same for this fuel filler cap, and then they probably blacked out some of the stuff themselves. Beautiful blue paint job on here with the line cutting through and then a blacked out BMW logo. Custom suede seat, but the cockpit for me is the piece de resistance because they've fitted a tiny moto gadget dash here. So it really looks super minimal. And you've also got an LED headlight. I think that's a bit of a signature feature. Denali M7, the same headlight in fact that I've got on my lovely Triumph Street Twin. So you can see that they've got impeccable taste. And last up, we've got these short well, incredibly short exhaust. In fact, I think there's not much left of them there. There's no cat or anything, just some stubby, so we better have a listen to it. That's probably enough of that. 